Final instructions from the referee here for our co-main event bout for the BUI Celtic title in the lightweight division. Josh Sanford in the blue corner squares off against James McGivern. The natural versus the Sandman, Eric. Yeah, I'm really excited about this fight. You know, it's a battle of the undefeat, undefeated fighters. Someone's always got to go. And uh, a title on the line as well. So it was fantastic. And uh, it was absolutely lovely listening to those national anthems being sung as well. She did a fantastic job. Really great to experience that for sure. Sanford pressing McGivern up against the ropes at the minute. Yeah, we've just stepped up a level here now in the in the box, and these two guys are really, really talented. And um, like James McGivern is a, is a was a world class amateur, you know, and uh, <coughs> but he has a very durable opponent in front of him here in Sanford. And a, Sanford. quite a fast opponent too. That, that backhand lead he just did there blink and you miss it. <laughs> Given struggling to find his way off the ropes there, but he landed a one two. Yes. Very nice combination. It's just a straight one two down the middle, very quick. There was no telegraphing, it was just so so quick. It's a real strength of his, his speed. You know, his speed of hand, speed of touch, it's just how he launches those punches. And uh, it does seem that his boxing comes very natural to him. So I do confess when I was prepping for the show tonight, watching the given fights, I had to repeat them a number of times to spot some of his punches, yeah. such as the speed he's got. Nice head movement from McGivern off the ropes. Fantastic. Looks so relaxed already here in just the first round. And uh, Sanford is um, just finding it a little bit more difficult to settle into it. He's trying to rush things, trying to force things. But uh, it is coming a little bit easier and a bit more natural to the natural James McGivern. And a lovely hook there as he faded off the side and to the body then again. Sanford struggling a bit more to find him now than he was in the earlier going. McGivern seems to be finding his rhythm now. The two are in a clinch. For a clean. McGivern is off the ropes now and into the center of the ring. But both these guys are still only fairly relatively new in their professional careers. You know. McGivern made his debut in 2020. Oh! Excellent work off the ropes from McGivern. Left hook, right hook, and then he turns again and moves off. Out of danger. Fantastic. And it did look like it interrupted the cognitive process briefly of Sanford. 
For a second there, he seemed frozen, but like I say, he's, sh he's shaking him off and moving forward again. They're giving turning up the heat a little bit now. Great first round to get us underway in our co-main event here. Yeah, good round. Sanford is putting up a good fight as well, but you know, scored that round to James O'Giver and just landed the cleaner shots. To have a good that level of a coach with the experience that Ricky Burns has, and you know, Ricky has been around the block like he's done it all, seen it all, and it's great to have that uh, advice uh, in 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 your camp. What adjustments do you think you might have recommended to McGivern there? Lovely hook landing. Just from what I could gather from the, the, the animation and gesticulation, oh, from Ricky Burns in the corner was like to just hit the move, hit the move, stay out. You know, because that's what James McGivern does really well. You know, he doesn't need to get scrappy. He just needs to make him miss and counter. And um, he's already settled well into this, well into, into this fight and he's boxing very, very well at the moment. So sharp. I'm always so impressed when there's such a high threat of pugilism yeah. and, and, and violence that, that men can remain so calm. Yeah. And McGivern is the picture of calm here. Yeah, no, it's great to see, but uh, Sanford is, knows that he has a very slippery, awkward customer in front of him, very elusive. So he's going to have to try and throw the kitchen sink at him. And, you know, it won't be, pre it won't be pretty on the eye, but like, that's what he's going to have to do. When you're up against a very slick, elusive southpaw like McGivern, you know, one thing you can't do is stand off and let him pick you off because he'll do that all day long. So um, I understand the tactics from Sanford. Like he has to go and try and rough up McGiver and try and knock him out of his rhythm, unsettle him, and uh, try and make it a bit ugly. <laughs> but uh, it's a nice movement there from Sanford. McGiver tries to land. I can see what he's actually trying to do, but it's not actually, uh, he's not having any success at the moment because McGivern is just reading this fight very well. Small bit of marking around McGivern's eye there. Not bothering him, obviously. Yeah, there's a little bit of reddening all right there, yeah. Yeah, you can see already now it's starting to get a little bit scrappy or something, but this is suiting Sanford, because this is what Sanford wants to do, you know, because as I said before, he has got to make this difficult for McGivern. He's got to make it um, ugly, difficult, awkward, and... Uh, Speed on that hook there from McGivern. The test is just getting a <laughs> just getting a little bit more difficult for McGivern. But a good uppercut. McGivern seems to be landing, it, despite the pressure from Sanford and close the distance, McGivern is still finding a home for those punches. Nice, very hand. good, yeah, very good punch there from Sanford. Drove McGivern's head back, oh, oh, excellent. A hook on the inside, rattled Sanford briefly. Excellent. He tried to capitalize and the bell came just at the right time for Sanford. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. Just how you want to leave the judges thinking about a round. Interesting to see how the cobwebs have cleared for Sanford. He looks clear. And at the end of that last round, just before McGivern caught uh, Sanford with that uppercut, he got caught himself with a straight right hand and his head was drove back. So it was a good response from him. But I can see that um, Sandy Sanford is actually trying that right hand again. He's trying to lead with that right hand, but he's got to get close in order to make that happen. But that is the right tactic against the southpaw when you're boxing from an orthodox position. You've got to lead with your backhand, but it's got to be, it's got to be fast, it's got to be quick, and it has to be um, not something, it has to be disguised. You need to put something in front of it for sure, especially dealing with a slippery customer like McGivern. He's like lightning escaping from the ropes there moments ago. Sanford putting the pressure on again, backing him up. I'm really enjoying this fight. It's a really good fight. We're only, in you know, it didn't take long to warm up at all. Like, you know, so it's a it's fantastic, really enjoyable fight. We have the best seats in the house, Eric, for some real top quality yeah. boxing here. Yeah. 
just a bit short with the punches there that time of giver and just reaching in just not really finding his distance he's much better when he makes Sanford miss and then counters or punch ah oh, good backhand from a giver set it up the jab there read the movement well landed the right hand left hand I should say Excellent, another good shot. He only has two knockout wins of his uh, seven wins, uh, McGivern, which would suggest that he's not the most concussive type puncher, you know, but his speed is a real strength. Um, and Sandman, almost similar, of his six wins, he has zero knockouts. So, you know, that would suggest that he doesn't really pack a very concussive punch, you know, so we could be in for a, a real treat over eight rounds. Who knows? Well, I'd certainly welcome seeing more rounds of this box. A nice hook there. And another left from McGivern. This is brilliant work from McGivern. Some left hooks and right hooks there. Took them well, Sanford. Sanford is definitely tough. He's had to bite down his gumshield a couple of times in this fight so far and he's he's answered the challenge each time yeah they're in great shape both of them like you can see both both, both fighters just the conditioning on them you know, the definition in their bodies and really up for this and they would have put in a really good training camp and took this fight very seriously mixing up the targets now as McGivern landing a body shot there and that is the second round and third to the punch and uh Obviously, more successful, more successful than him yeah, in terms of hitting the target. Round four underway. Great exchange of punches there between the two fighters. Oh, it started with McGivern in the corner, and now he's back Sanford in the corner. Yeah, cut. Sanford is cut now uh, the, uh, over the right eye. So that's not going to be uh, helpful for him. I'm waiting for them to, to rotate so I can get a look. But it looked to be a little bit to the side of the eye. But McGivern's not waiting on the cut. Landing lots of hooks left and right. He's landing some shots here, McGivern. And Sanford is taking it really well. You know, it's already a difficult customer in front of him, a slippery customer. A very, very, very good customer, and now things are far. Have, uh, things are, the, the difficulty has just been ramped up a couple of notches because he's cut over the right eye, and blood is trickling down, so his vision is impaired. It's not exactly what the doctor ordered. No, it's not nice because I've had it done before. I've had, I've had cuts over my eyes as well. It's very difficult in the ring. He, he might be getting away with some of it. It looks like it's a little bit to the side of the eye. Yeah, it's trickling down the side of the face, so that yeah. might be, you know, it might be in a good spot. Referee getting the cut checked, it looks like. Yeah. One thing that's in Sanford's favor is he's got an excellent cut man. Um, in, in, in his corner there, uh, Cruel Jono we call him, he's brilliant. Oh, what a hook landed from Sanford. That was a big right hand that James McGivern took there over the top from uh, from Sanford. A concussive impact, McGivern more that was his, well. Oh, and again, that was his best punch. That was his best punch, of the best two punches of, of the fight. McGivern needs to respond now. Just slightly misjudged the distance in that hook. Sanford pressing again. Sanford now stalking him against the ropes here. So a combination. McGivern able to evade. He's really going for it, Sanford. Like another punch landed there. You see, he, he, he realizes as well that the cut is bad. And he doesn't want this to be stopped on a, on a you know, on a cut or, so he, He's just, uh, he knows he has nothing to lose and he has to go all out now, so. 
He's having his um, he's having his best uh, success in this fight so far. This is a very good sequence for him. It'll be interesting to see how McGivern responds now. Cut looks nasty though. It does. It's the end of round four, and the cut men will get to do their work. You know, he might have he might he might have edged that round. You know, just based on the you know and how the success at the end. It was very scrappy throughout. There wasn't a whole lot of clean punches landing, but he might have landed the cleanest punches in that in that round. No contest. And it, if it goes past, so, if it goes past the third round or fourth round, some organisations bring it to the scorecards. But I'm not sure what the rules are here within this with the BUI. Some blood landing in our commentary position here. We're back underway. Look at the cut, they've done a great job on it. Look, Jono did a great job on that uh, cut in the corner. Nice body shot from McGivern there as he starts to try and assert his presence in this fight. Excellent job done on that cut, like you said. Yeah, it's a brilliant fight. It's a really good fight. It's a good test for McGivern. Really good test. And for Sanford. Without a doubt, it'll be, th th these, it'll be the toughest fight for each of these. This will be the toughest opponents they've faced in their career now. And these are the fights you like to see as well. It's good to see guys not being afraid to put their undefeated record on the line and really going for it. Both men taking a tough challenge in this fight. Mm -hmm. Putting those records in line, like you say, Eric. Mm -hmm. Given trying to find a route in here. Sanford just complained about the head. McGivern's cut as well. He's cut over the left eye. I think that was from a clash of heads. You know, the score has been evened up now in terms of cuts anyway, so Bo have a nasty cut to deal with. Blood flown freely once more from Sanford. Oh, good shots from McGivern. This is where he's at his best, when he's moving, when he's making you miss and hitting you. So, if you can do more of that, then it'll, be, it'll just, you know, it'll, it'll help him, it'll benefit him. McGivern doing a good job of evading what's coming his way and firing back. Yeah, but a couple of shots went in and hit on the body there. I know they might not be in, like, even the arms, they might not have, they, might, they don't have to be in the scoring target all the time. Each, each punch that's coming in from Samford is having a, a wear and tear effect on the body of McGivern. Oh, good right hand as well there now from Samford. He's, he's finding the target far more frequent than he has been in the earlier rounds. And the right hand is just, the right hand has been very successful for him. Giver needs to get back to his boxing. I caught again there. That right hand Sanford. again, yeah. yeah. Again, it's not the most cleanest punch, but it's still hitting the target. It's still hitting the side of the head, the neck. You know, being scored by the judges is the other, the other factor. Referee separates the fighters again. Sanford marches forward as he has done for all of this round and many yeah. of those before. McGivern oh, landing a couple. Good, shot. good left uppercut from McGivern. And I was just going to say that this fight is suiting, it's actually suiting Sanford. The round, the, the, the type of fighting that James McGivern has kind of now came down to is suiting Sanford. This close knit, scrappy, toe to toe. You know, a fair. It's more. It's favouring Sanford more than McGivern. But I, but I judge is my favour that. You know, but um, yeah, I'd like to see a big round from McGivern now. I'd like to see a big round. You know, uh, it's round six just to kind of put the balance back in his favour, um, and not allow Sanford to get the momentum, break his momentum. So we're well into the deep water now in this Celtic title clash. Bacon title on the line, the perfect record of both fighters on the line. Nice. Needs to move the feet, McGivern, after punching. You know, he needs to kind of just keep on the move. Good body shot from Sanford. Really was a good body shot. Clash of heads there again. 
this is a tough fight. Warner from the ref about the, the use of the head inside the clinch there. McGivern landed again. Good shots from McGivern. Good defensive work too. Getting out of there, getting off the ropes. Back to the center of the ring. Sanford seems to be giving him a little bit more space in this round than he has done in previous rounds. McGivern making full yeah, use there. Shot. Yeah, good shots from McGivern there. Really good shots there. Good shots on the inside. You see, Sanford needs to get close. He needs to get very, very close in order to hit the target. Oh, the right hand again. Sanford. Needs to keep moving, McGivern. Oh, another right hand over the top from Sanford. McGivern was peppering with the jab and then ate a right hand. Yeah. And look, it wasn't that powerful, like you just kind of caught the end of the punch, but his head was drove back and it looks clear and decisive to the judges. A good right hook from McGivern. When he moves to his right, I think that's where it's, it's serving him very well when, he, when he's getting out to right, moving away from that right hand from Sanford. And a couple of nice right hooks on the inside of McGivern. And we're back in the clinch against the ropes. I'm impressed with Sanford, like, you know, I'm impressed with, you know, his, his relentless efforts to try and get close, to try and land the shots, you know, he doesn't want to just be standing off here and trying to figure out James McGivern, he's really having a go, I'm impressed by that, I, I respect that. McGivern trying to get on his bike a little bit now, circling around the outside. And Trying to find success with that jab to lead into that hook in the inside. Sanford ties things up once more. That's good. That's nice. That's nice boxing from McGivern. And away, out of trouble again. That's good. Needs to keep moving those feet. Like a matador against the ropes there. Yeah. Oh, lovely hook left. landed. Clean. Yeah. Yeah. So this is good counter punching now. This is what James does really, really well. Good round and a good comeback round for James McGivern. Sanford still managed to find a home for his right hand a couple of times, but McGivern probably shaded in this he one. Did yeah, I think uh, he hit the target more often in that um, in that round. So yes. So second last round, two round to go. seven. Yeah, I did say that we'll probably have eight rounds of good action, and uh, it's <laughs> certainly shaping up to be that way. Um, Sanford bounced off the stool there. Um, but there is, yeah, he's, he's bounced off the stool, but uh, James McGivern is just uh, having his uh, glove tended to there because the tape is coming loose. Referee, <laughs> referee is not happy about the extra time it's taken. Both men still moving well, even this late in the bout. Yeah, they're in great shape, both of these fighters. Trained very hard for this fight. As you'd expect. Given trying to escape. Out to the right, being clinched again. Good quick hands from McGivern, just landing, you know, just light, sharp shots and then tying up Sanford, you know, and mixing the, not allowing him to get into his rhythm. Oh, a good shot from Sanford. You can see what Sanford yeah. is trying to do. He needs to get close. He has to have, he has to have McGivern standing in front of him. He has to have back him up onto the ropes or the corner in order to let his hands go. And he, he's following that formula relentlessly and having some success. Mm. He's landing another right hand. Yeah, he's throwing three and four, and the, you know he's, he's he's sacrificing missing with two or three in order to land one. Um, and he's you know he he's getting through. He's getting through. That's the that's the thing. That's the problem for McGivern. Flurry of shots to the body from Sanford on the inside. Give 
and trying to get him to bite down the fake. Good one too from McGivern. That's it in again. Nice right uppercut. You can see the jar from the shock there as he landed that one. Sanford Ward well as he has done throughout the fight. Everyone is getting coaching advice from all corners at the minute with some of the fans. Yeah, it's, a, like it's a difficult fight for him. This is a real live opponent, a real stiff challenge for him here. Good shots, good shots from McGivern. And as I said, in a, in a round that can be very scrappy, a lot of holding, a lot of grabbing, it's those shots that can make all the difference. Those clean shots, that's what the judges are looking for. Dying seconds of the last of se round seven, I should say. Both men trying to leave that last an impression with the judges. Yeah. Which way do you think they're going to see I that one? It's a I close round. I think it's another James McGivern round, to be honest. Like, I know Sanford had a lot, of, threw a lot of punches while he was in close. A lot of these hit the point, they could be right. It depends on what the judges are looking for. But I'm just looking for the cleaner, more clinical work, and that's coming from McGivern. Here we go for the BUI Celtic lightweight title. The final round here between Sanford and McGivern. Nice jab lands from McGivern, snapping the head back of Sanford. Sanford stalking him to the ropes as he has done for most of the bout. Yeah, and, and he used the jab in, in the earlier rounds and it was working very well for him, very effective, but he kind of neglected the jab in the last couple of rounds McGivern. He needs to get back to that jab. It's a brilliant punch, brilliant shot. And what it does is it's, it, 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 it frustrates Sanford and it makes him make mistakes. Sanford closing the distance again. Yeah, he needs to get back on his, on his toes, keep moving. Tremendous cut work done on the corner between rounds given how bad Sanford's cut was earlier in the fight. Yeah, he's a great cut man, brilliant cut man. Cool John up. Sanford back in the given up again, looking to find the answer in this final round. He's in great condition, Sanford. Both, both boxers in great condition, you know, but um, he's just relentless in terms of his efforts in trying to get something from this fight you know he believes in himself and he believes that he has even though he has no 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 stoppage wins on his card he know he look he is trying his best to nail mcgivern if he can but it's just a difficult test the elusive mcgivern very difficult to pin down for sure it's a difficult target you know because he's so he's so evasive so elusive and very very good he's a great reader of the game got very good boxing iq very intelligent man, very intelligent, very intelligent boxer. But all this work here, all this area here now is suiting Sanford. This is where he likes to be and this is where he's having most of his success. You see, touching the body in the inside. McGivern landed a, a nice jab before they clinched. Given probably just feeling the pace now as well because it can take a lot of energy out of your system when you're up on your toes moving around. Very difficult thing to do. Just under 30 seconds left. Another good right hand from Sanford. Sanford finds that target he's been searching for. He's having a really good moment in the fight now, but that was a good comeback there from the given. Really good comeback. Dying seconds, oh, a two man trade. McGivern lands there. And Very that good. is it. Very good. Tremendous fight to watch from our vantage point here. Yeah. Brilliant. Some amazing Brilliant moments fight. for both fighters. Excellent, excellent fight. Congratulations to two fighters. In my, in my, I see the fight. I see James McGivern as the winner, as a clear winner, but. You know, when you hear these scores, don't be surprised if it's much closer, but I do think he's the right winner um, of this fight, and I think uh, it was a very, very good competitive fight for him, and he'll uh, learn loads from that.
Let's make it official with the judge's decision back inside the ring.